I've been painting up some Emperor's Children for the Horus Heresy. Hello friends and welcome back to Too Many Minis. My name's Ozzy. Uh, I've been painting up some Emperor's Children for the Horus Heresy. I've started with a team of tactical tactical support unit of uh, Volkite chargers. I built them from the Age of Darkness Mark VI Marines. Uh, they use Volkite chargers from the special weapons uh, upgrades sprues and they are using the new Forge World Empress Children helmets and Mark VI pauldrons. Uh, they were they're really nice. I'm really into the uh, the helmets and the the pauldrons on these. Um, some of the legions have had you know bad luck. I think with the with the designs that have been done for them for the Mark VI. But I, I really like these Emperor's Children ones, and it's part of why I decided to to do uh, Emperor's Children as a ally force to my salamanders. They're now kind of ahead of the salamanders because I've finished this unit of ten. Uh, whereas the salamanders, I've finished a rhino. And almost finished the unit of 10. So they kind of leapfrogged them. I'm pretty pleased with them. It, I've spray primed them colour forward imperial purple. And then given them two coats of uh, Drakenhof Nightshade as a wash to bring the colour down. Then the main colour on them is uh, game colour Hex Lycan from Vallejo. And then I'm adding a bit of Warlord Purple from game colour to that to bring it up a bit pinker. And then there's some, you know scratches put on and that kind of thing but it, that's that's pretty much it i mean there's a little bit of full grim pink in the very final edge highlight it's pretty simple it's pretty quick there's lovely transfers on them I love the decal sheet the heresy era empress children decal sheet just loads of gold that's what they need loads of gold i like painting gold the sergeant has a power sword that i made out of the hilt of a standard tactical marine power sword from 40k and then the blade is from the sisters of battle kit um and i've done that with the kind of lightning stuff that's like my first time doing a power sword after 30 odd years of painting these things um uh i didn't like how it looked so i give it sort of lightning i'm okay with it it's fine the he has a volkite what are they called serpenta the pistol one and I made that by chopping down a Volkite something else like the long one that's on the same sprue as the chargers um, and it looks good I'm pleased with that I just chopped it down and glued it back together and I like it he's got the cool helmet that they come with on the new Forge World sprue bit of contrast apothecary white over white for his plume and uh, you can see on him some of the kind of weathering -y stuff, just a bit of grime, you know, I like to keep him quite clean and a bit of scuffing on the knees, you know, they, they like to kneel down. Please with them, I'll just, you know, they, they got my city basing, that's city fight basing that's matching my salamanders, so they can be some kind of, you know, protecting the civilian population, it's van kind of uh, jazz. Um, I'm really pleased with them, they were pretty quick to paint. All, all told and uh, I think they look great I like purple it's good I didn't stop there though I built some more I built some more I got the heavy weapons upgrade kit and since I'm waiting for them to unveil some salamanders mark 6 pauldron and helmet upgrades before I build my heavy flamer heavy multi melter guys um, I built this heavy heavy plasma unit just a little one the sergeant of this has got a uh, AOS head I need to give him some of the little special marine earmuffs so that he can you know communicate with his team and whatever but uh, I quite like that head it's, it's slightly wrong proportions but I like it he looks suitable kind of suitably kind of vain and arrogant and he's got the torso from a uh, uh, forge word mark 4 marine uh, empress children so the torsos I'm gonna give the sergeants them and yeah, they're just like plasma dudes, but I, th I I really like these. They remind me of very old Citadel miniatures with the huge, huge weapons. 
And then there's a cool guy with an augury scanner sticking out of his arm. Well into them, and you can see it's quite they're quite light if you compare them with the, the finished model. They're quite light at this stage. The the primer is a bit too light, but you just whack a couple of shades on and it, it brings it right down. Also in the pipeline for the Emperor's Children is this tactical squad. Um, they are built of some eBay Rescue Mark IV Marines. Look, they were built up as world eaters and they had special pauldrons, so I've had to pull off the pauldrons and they've got a bit of a mishmash of different pauldrons in the end. Uh, but I think they look alright. They've also got the new bayonets from the Mark VI kit, which I had to chop up a bit to fit onto these different pattern glass bol uh, bolters but they're cool I mean they they are a slight rescue jobs so they've they've had some paint on and been stripped off and that kind of thing so they're going to look a bit battle damaged but that's okay and then I built I'm really pleased with this guy I built the sergeant to have a uh, what do you call it a spear the special Empress children spears and he's got one of them, which I built out of a number of parts from AOS kits. The shaft is one part. The handle is another part. Uh, the hand is another part. The cross guard is another part. And the blade is another part. And it's all pinned. And yes, that was fiddly, but it's worth it. I really like how it's turned out. Um, he's got the, the helmetless head from the new Mark VI upgrades, which is really cool. Really cool stern vein sergeant head and a plasma gun plasma pistol and some mark two pauldrons mark four torso and for the emperor children and the generic mark four legs so yeah he was quite a kit bash but I'm, I'm i'm really pleased with him and i kind of can't wait to paint him up i'm not so can't wait to paint up these guys because the slightly blobby nature of some of the paint that's been stripped and reprimed and stuff, but oh yeah, some of them have got blades on because I couldn't get them off without making a mess. But uh, yeah, tactical squad. That's just to get your your line troop ticked off um, for for the allies. They've got to take some line. You've got to take a troop's choice. I guess they don't have to be line, but anyway, you can have them as your troop choice. I've got the Volkites school and the last thing in the pipeline for the empress children at the moment is this predator oh my god it's so nice i had to get a predator at launch because well you know what i didn't pre-order it and then i was in badman cafe and they had one on the shelf and i was like just bought it um it looks so much like the old predator that i had when i was a kid i love it um so i've built it with the predator cannon and the Sponson Las Cannons uh, because that's classic to me. Um, it's got magnetized searchlight, magnetized hunter killer missile, and uh, this is just this is loose so that we can add something else on the top if we ever want. I've got the smoke grenades on the back, turret turret wiggles. If I just there we go, free up a bit. That wiggles around and this can go up and down a bit and boy is it nice a proper toy this um, I put a little bit of decoration on the front and on the back I think that's close enough to a Empress children a quill up that it can get away with it I, I primed this black and uh, then did purple from above so it's gonna it's gonna paint up a bit easier because of that I think uh, looking forward to this one. I love painting the rhino, which will be the same. I'm going to try and use sponges again for the main base colour once I've recess shaded it. It's just cool, isn't it? Um, I didn't... I, I glued the back up uh, because I didn't see the point of having an access hatch when it should have the gun parts under there and stuff. No, this is not a transport. This is a tank. Um, and the cool thing about that is I use a bit of sprue to brace the inside and manage to not put in this cool internal wall. So I can use that for something else. Conversion. Maybe something for Necromunda. That's where I'm at with the uh, Emperor's Children. I'd love to hear about anyone's 
heresy projects they're working on. Thanks for liking and subscribing. The subscribers are going up, love that. Um, doing more and more heresy stuff because it's just, I just really like the kits. Um, they got the um, Land Raider Proteus coming out next week. I haven't ordered one, but super into that. Again, it looks like the Land Raider I had when I was a kid. Uh, I'll probably be doing that one Salamanders. I'm not sure, maybe. Mm, but I haven't ordered one. I will get around to getting that. Yeah, I love all these kits. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.